gunpowder stored in the family vault. Hey everybody, Amanda here for Family Tree Nuts, and I'm here at the ruins of Sheldon Church, originally known as Prince William's Parish Church, and it was built in 1745, that's when it, construction first started, but first services didn't start here until 1757. Sheldon Church is probably the first church in the United States built in the style of a Greek temple. That was the point that the Bull family had when they organized and funded this church. Now, William Bull was a prominent landowner here in the area, and they owned nearby Newberry Plantation that bordered this property. They set aside the two acres of Sheldon Church that was used as a chapel of ease. Now, chapel of ease, what does that mean? Just like it sounds, it was built for the ease of the local parishioners because they couldn't conveniently get to church services in town. Beaufort is about 15 miles from here and it wasn't just as simple as getting in your car and driving into town. There were waterways to cross and marshes and so they built these chapels of ease. It flourished and then the Revolutionary War came and in 1779 British General Prevost came and burnt the church. Now, why would he burn the church? Usually these sorts of things were off limits, right? Well, during the Revolutionary War, Sheldon Church was used as a military center for the patriots that were in the area. Even reports of gunpowder being stored in the Bull family vault. Now in 1779, British General Prevost came to the area and he burnt Sheldon Church probably because of its military center for the Patriots in the Low Country. It laid in ruin for 47 years, and it wasn't restored until 1826. When word of the restoration started to get around, the original communion silver that was held for safekeeping by an Englishwoman in Beaufort Town was returned. And to this day, that silver is used at St. Helena's Episcopal in downtown Beaufort. For 40 years, Sheldon Church was used for services, and then the Civil War came. Now, there's a few reports about what happened to Sheldon Church during the Civil War, and they're conflicting. Historical tradition holds that General Sherman and his troops came through this area after leaving Savannah in January of 1865, and they burnt this church on January 14th. However, there is a letter written by a Bull family descendant, a former Confederate soldier, a man by the name of Milton Leverett. He writes in this letter, Sheldon not burned, just torn up. So why was it torn up? Well, accounts say that they used some of the materials to rebuild their own homes after the Civil War. It was never rebuilt. It stands as it has for 155 years. Just recently, the black fence that you see behind me was erected, and that was due to vandalism and souvenir hunters. So the owners of this churchyard decided that they needed to protect it. And I, for one, am grateful for it. Family tree nuts. Let our nuts find the nuts in your family tree. Like what you see? Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click the little bell so you get notifications as to when we post new videos. And you can find out more about us and contact us at familytreenuts.org.